Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are from BC, then you will know that it is spring break this weekend, which means that most people go out and socialize a little bit more often, see their friends, and that might involve some alcohol. So I figured why not help out and support you guys and provide you with a hangover sequence. This is a pretty mellow sequence and very casual. You can wear whatever you're wearing currently pajamas, anything comfortable, and it will hopefully help out in areas such as digestion and things like that that will help to improve your hangover if you are completely gone and just feel nauseous and need to be hugging a toilet, then maybe this isn't for you, but I doubt you're looking up yoga sequences if that is your condition. So bring your water bottle, drink as much as you want, and let's get started. Okay, everyone, thank you for sticking around. Make sure that you're comfortable, wear whatever you want. You can even have socks on today. I have some fuzzy socks, oversized t-shirt, my hair just up in a messy bun. So do you and wear what you wanna wear. We're gonna meet seated on our mat today. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to bring our knees up, keeping our feet planted into the mat with our ankles crossed. And we're going to inhale our hands our palms against our eyes and our elbows are pushing into our knees and we're just gonna sit here you can close your eyes embrace the darkness here usually when you're hungover the light can be a bit of a harsh sense <laughs> that we receive so right now we're just gonna breathe in the darkness and relax your shoulders down and away from your ears stay comfortable your feet are fully planted into the mat you can feel your belly as you breathe into your legs I just want to say if you made it to this practice today, then you are doing great. Most people when they're hungover, the last thing they think of is, hey, I should work out right now. So you are the exception and you're the type of person that is takes value in their practice and wants to keep going. And so kudos to you for that. We're going to slowly release, let go our hands, and we can cross our legs into easy pose, bringing the light back in. I know it might be a little scary, you might be a vampire today, um, but we'll make it through. Okay, so you can sit in easy pose or lotus position, whichever you prefer. I'll stay in easy pose to follow the theme today. And what we're going to do is we are just going to turn our head to our left shoulder, so left ear to left shoulder. Breathing here. Backs are straight, hands are on our knees. If you want, you can inhale your left hand and hold, kind of press your head down. Don't do too much pressure, but just enough to feel a little bit. And we'll slowly release our hand and bring our head back to center. Inhale your right arm up and guide your right ear to your right shoulder. Breathing here, feeling a nice stretch in the side neck. And we'll inhale back to center. And then we're just gonna send our head backwards, facing the ceiling or the back of the room. Again, shoulders are down. And it forward. Okay. 
and we'll come back to center. Now from here, we're going to move our right knee under our left. So our right foot is kind of hugging our bottom. Our left foot is planted into the mat, crossed over our right knee. We're gonna inhale our right hands behind us, sort of like a kickstand, and inhale our left hand into the sky if you want to put your index finger and your thumb together. And we're just gonna look back. Both of your arms are straight in this position. It's just a nice stretch here. And on our exhale, we're gonna bring, bring, sorry, bring our elbow into our knee and do a backwards twist. So we're gonna look over our right shoulder. Your right hand is still in the same place. Your left elbow is in your uh, left knee. So every time you inhale, you elongate. Exhale, you can twist a little bit further. And we'll inhale back to center. And we're going to switch legs so our left foot is coming to our bum on the left side right foot is coming across our left pardon me and we're going to place our left hand behind us and inhale our right hand up into the sky breathing here so make sure your right foot stays planted both of your arms are straight in this then we'll just breathe. And on our exhale, we're gonna bring our right elbow to our right knee, turn over to our shoulder, looking at the back of the room, getting a nice twist here. Inhale back to center. We're going to come back to easy pose and then we're going to do some shoulder circles. So together we're just going to circle our shoulders forward. We'll do this a few times. And backwards. Excellent. Now we are going to come onto our backs. So make your way to the long edge of your mat. <sighs> okay, beautiful. Now we're going to bring our feet into our bums. Our hands are planted and we're going to do a quick little um, bridge pose. This is usually a harder pose, but today we're going to take it really easy, take it slow, and you don't have to come all the way up if it's too much work. And on our inhale, we're going to inhale our hips up, bring our chin to our chest, and our chest up to the sky. So we'll do that together, and inhale together. Holding for three, two, and one, slowly release. And we're going to fully extend here. Now that we're laying on the mat, we're going to inhale our left knee to our chest, hug it in here, loving ourselves. And slowly release, bring in the right knee, same thing. And release. Now we'll inhale both knees together, mm. holding here, giving yourself a nice big hug. You can rock back and forth. And now we're going to grab our knees and actually roll them around in a circle. So we'll go clockwise first, or is this counterclockwise? I think I started the opposite way. And wherever you were, we're going to reverse. 
So this is a nice little belly massage, as well as just feels good in the lower half of your body. And we'll come back. Now this time we're going to plant our right foot, bring our left ankle across our right knee. So we have a 90 degree angle here. We're going to inhale our hands beneath our right knee and just kind of pull here. Your feet can be flexed and you should feel this in your left glute. So we're just pulling and breathing in here. This should feel good if you did go out and you're dancing, getting a little low, and we're stretching out the bum here. And slowly release. We're going to swap the feet so our right ankle goes over our left knee, left or hands beneath the left knee and pull it into our chest. Feet flexed here. And we should feel this evenly in our right glute now. This is an active pose, so you're pulling creating a little bit of resistance here, but you don't want to strain too much or cause any cramping or anything like that. And we'll slowly release. This time we're going to grab both of our feet with both of our hands. Our knees go into our armpits and we're just doing a nice little happy baby here. So Happy Baby is actually a great pose for the kidneys. Usually when we drink, they, that does affect the kidneys. So this is a perfect pose for that. So you can close your eyes here. You can kind of roll back and forth if it feels good. And then we're just gonna slowly release and extend our legs fully out and their arms fully out. <laughs> Get one good stretch. You can yawn here. <sighs> Take any final movements that you feel your body needs. And then we're gonna come into Savasana. So whether you want your legs, um, if you want your legs out to the sides or if you want them in together, wherever you're most comfortable here, we're just gonna take some time to breathe, to relax, and to hopefully not think about your hangover. <laughs> Take this time to think, I'm gonna drink all of the water today. I'm gonna drink tea, water. I'm gonna eat light foods like crackers and bananas. And then I get to take today and rest. Some people are getting up today to go to work. You get to wake up and although you may not feel great, you are pushing towards your goals by doing the sequence and you get to rest. And if you are one of those people that have to work today and you're doing this beforehand, then good for you. You really have a lot of strength and you should value yourself and love yourself today for even showing up. I think this is finally one of my shortest sequences to date. I've been trying to do some under 28 minutes or so and they all just end up super long and I think this one I may have nailed so that's exciting. Please leave a comment below if you prefer 15 minute lengths, 20 minute lengths, or closer to 30 minute and I will do my best to I'll always mix it up, but I definitely want to throw in a couple shorter ones here and there. So let me know what you think of this by giving it a thumbs up or commenting what length of time that you prefer to do. Thank you again so much for choosing my video. I hope you guys have a fantastic spring break and really do take advantage of all the time you have. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for joining. Namaste.